Hi everyone, my name is Rajasekhar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be seeing a live composite on a virtual set using Axiometry program. Uh, the very first video in our channel was about Unreal Engine and the Composure tool. The second video was about using Unreal Engine along with Axiometry. Whereas this video will be only about Axiometry program. You can use any version of Axiometry for this demo. It can be Axiometry SE or DE version. So let's get started. As soon as you launch Axiometry, you will be seeing the screen. I'm not changing any setting on this as such. I'll start right away. So the main interface is ready. Usually when you want to build a composite from scratch, you would go to file, new, compound. In this case, we are going to use a pre-built studio assets from Axiometry. All these folders which you see on the left, they are all part of additional installation which comes along with Axiometry. So when you're installing Axiometry, please be sure to install common library assets studio elements and the tutorials as well for you to have access to them we are going to get inside studio folder inside studio folder we have access to four numbers of uh, virtual sets uh, we'll get inside newsroom inside newsroom there are a lot of uh, configurations we have a three cam uh, four cam setup we are going to use newsroom virtual cam three cam rec dot x comp let's open this one so before we begin, these are the basic requirements for you to live composite yourself on a virtual set. DSLR camera, a capture card and a green screen. So the project is loaded and all set. Let's resize this preview window. So primarily we have six tabs on the top. Flow, main, cameras, billboards, overlays, record. Flow is where you will have all the nodes and the connections. Main is where you get to control the complete scene. You can trigger uh, the lighting conditions, the feed on the screen which you see here. You can take it as a master control. Camera is where you will get to assign uh, camera movements in the scene. Uh, billboards lets you tweak your input source. It could be your stock footage or a live camera feed. Overlays lets you add layers of video elements which can be put on the screens which you have on the set. And finally record. This lets you do output this composite into a video. We'll begin by bringing in our camera feed and we'll replace this uh, character. Go to billboards and on the input one click on test the moment you click on test it says device not found at this point of time make sure your camera is turned on and connected to the computer next to the input device click on this arrow pointing downwards and choose your camera so the moment I choose it you can see my feed there it has already applied chroma keying to it we'll slightly tweak it as you can see there's st still uh, some noise on the screen we need to crop it and also we can notice this image is not oriented properly so let's take care of it one by one to fix this uh, orientation click on cropped and turn off the portrait and now let's crop the uh, left and right and a bit of bottom as well I am also wearing a dark shade of green which is uh, very different from the screen behind so this will not have any problem let's proceed to keying out this green screen go to key and the monitor mode change this to input background color click on this color box Click on this color picker, select and hold it and drag it to the point where you want to key out and give OK. Monitor mode, change it to matte for you to see what's happening. So I'm going to adjust the low cut, a bit of high cut. That looks OK, but slightly some noise. So you can also uh, adjust the despill blue and the red. slightly to take care of the noise okay the mat looks clean and you can change the monitor mode from mat to final it looks so much reddish because I adjusted the uh, diesel red and yellow so let's balance that out and at any point as you're working if it if the screen goes uh, like this it's because your camera has gone to a standby mode or something's not right with the connection I think it looks okay for now Okay, so that's our keying and let's click on final and that's our composite. Let's slightly crop on the right as well. Okay, so the keying is done. Now I'm going to reduce the size of this image and place myself behind this table. So to do that, zoom out and click on this billboard one and adjust the scale value. I'm going to change this to 0.3 or 0.4. Uh, now that the image has been resized 
to move myself behind this table I can either use values on X Y Z to position myself manually say I can also type 0.8 or any value in XYZ and uh, place myself accordingly but this would take some time we also have an easy method make sure to click on billboard one when you're doing this and click on this access gizmo the handle and then click preview one the moment you do this you will have XYZ handle which will help you to move your image easily to turn off this camera movement go to cameras and click on this mouse symbol so this will let you have a free movement of the mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out hold right mouse button to pan left and right and left mouse button to turn left and right and every time if you want to see the handles you need to make sure you're in billboards and on this uh, box so moving up and moving it down and let me slightly turn the camera Now I'm exactly behind this table. Okay. So now let's assign a camera move. To give a camera move, let me go to cameras. Click on cam1. There are 16 camera paths. Each and every number stores one camera move. If you click on the camera symbol below, you can see that's your first move. There's a second shot. Third. Fourth. Let's try to design our own shot. Click on this A, which is your first point and let's zoom out all the way back I'm going to have the starting point like this and click on B and position the second point of camera okay, something like this the moment you click on this the camera animation starts playing it's uh, too slow to adjust the speed click on this camera path and adjust the master speed to get rid of this back and forth movement click on this one to stop looping of the shot click on this now it just plays once and stays so that's your uh, short one let's do a short two click on the second number and let's delete the existing camera move point A and uh, I'm going to give a move like this my A I can also copy A position and paste it on B and then adjust the B so something like this and let me test the shot it's faster because we have increased the master speed so let's drop it to adjust the camera speed let's click on camera path and let's reduce the master speed and now let's play the camera shot let me adjust this A again. That's my B. And also bring it slightly down. Okay. Now let's test the shot. Okay. So that's my shot. I can also uh, keep it loop. Okay. And I seem to be a little more bigger for this uh, table. I can also reduce myself a bit go to billboards and drop it to point 0.3 yeah I think this is okay L let's get back to cameras again so that's the short 2 and this is a short 1 a short 1 as slow down because we adjusted the speed on master speed which will affect all the parts to individually uh, adjust the speed we can change the number so lesser the value faster the speed let me change the path 1 to 10 then we can also increase slightly by setting it to 5 ok so that's 5 and let's go to the short 2 short 2 looks ok if you want to change the elements behind you if you want to add an overlay text everything is possible let's try to explore that as well and I'm going to click on this mouse to go to free mode I don't want this element to get rid of it go to flow and you will need to explore all these nodes to understand their functions so this is under graphic icon I'm going to turn that node off so the moment I set it off it's gone 
Now let's look into adding videos to the screen. We can go to main and in main we have two video sections. One is a virtual screen and one is a video. We have some clips loaded already by default. So let's do a test. In the virtual screen if you click on one of the element it shows up on the screen. Let me zoom in. So this is the second clip. Third, four, five. So this is how you change. You can also load your clips here. Your own clips by clicking on this. And you can give a path to your video. In my case, let me quickly change a clip here. So I've loaded my own default clip now. The moment I play it, I can see my intro here. In a similar way, this one is for full screen video. Say if I click on this, it shows up as a full screen video. Second clip, third, four, five. We can also load our own clips here. Click on this video tab and show the path of your video. That's my video which I've loaded. I can also switch to any other video and then turn it back off. So we have changed the video for the screen. What about these two screens? To change the video, we can get back to flow. You can notice there are three, three other videos which are not connected. So let's connect these to video one and two and three. As soon as you connect, you can see something is getting played. So to change the clip, click on this and pick any video from your computer. Okay. I'll repeat the same for everything. My third clip. So that's the procedure of uh, changing the video elements on this uh, screen for this set. It can vary differently in another set. Depends on how the flow is designed. Pretty much it would be s uh, straightforward. It would be having a video node which you would look into. Click on it and change the path. Make sure to explore all the video elements in the flow for you to understand and change anything regarding it. We can also change the time of the day by going to main and under lighting conditions we have four types of lighting preset. So currently we are in daylight. We can switch this to evening, sunshine and afternoon. Let me switch to the evening look and let's go to camera and let's play our first shot. And uh, when you want to see the camera animation, make sure you're clicking on this camera symbol. So our first shot is here. Let's switch to the second one. Let's uh, change the text on the top. Let's go to the flow and explore the nodes. So this happens to be the node which controls the text which you see on the top. So I'm going to change this to So manage to change the text on the top as well. Now let's try to put a scrolling text on the top. To do that, go to main tab and in the main you can see something called adb crawl click on that and hit play the moment you do that they have a built-in text overlay which they have created let's try to change the text here as well let's get back to the flow and let's explore some text notes which they might have created so here's a text says newsroom crawl and let's change these text fields I have modified all these text and uh, they'll be appearing one after the other now. For you to change this text which is running in the bottom, you'll have to modify this newsroom crawl text which is in your computer. Once you modify, you'll have your text here. So that's about changing the overlay text. You can also turn them off and on. And now that we have the composite, let me also show you how to output this to a video. To output this to a video, click on this record tab on the top. Click on recorder and pick the path where you want the output to go. And I'm going to choose desktop in my case. After choosing the location, I'll give a name to my video and the resolution 
and the video format I leave it to h.264 the bitrate and every other settings I'm leaving it to default and to output this all I need to do right now is click on this record button so let's hit this record button to export this as a video and once you're done you need to click stop so let's do that now let's uh, see the final video and that's a small demonstration of live composite on a virtual set using axiometry hope you found this useful you can instantly change the looks of the set using the lighting conditions if you have a multiple camera input you'll be able to switch right now here's a demo of it this is cam 1 2 and this is 3 and you can also see a matrix view of it hope this session was useful that was a small demonstration of live composite on a virtual set using axiometry. We'll keep exploring this axiometry program along with Unreal Engine and every other aspects of virtual production. Do subscribe to the channel, do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn basics of DMX lighting and the virtual production which we're doing right now. I'm Raj Shekhar. see you all soon, bye.